This week we're looking at some of the schemes and plays that were big in the semifinal game between Washington and Texas. Some huge explosive plays from Washington and also some of the defensive plays as well. But really fun football game that came right down to the last play and we'll dive right in. First play we're looking at right here is on a first and 10 early in the game. You're going to post corner and all this is a one high look. So right here, 4-4 four, four, basically cover one and this is an unbelievable throw of course the pros got to be there because this is a long developing play you're going to blitz here off the backside, slide in that direction fullbacks there tailbacks even helping so a seven man pro he's going to end up helping this linebacker that's green dog in here getting into the pass rush Penix, once he catches it you see him he glances that way makes sure it's a one-on-one -on -one, then he looks towards the middle of the field and he's trying to hold that one high safety keep him there as long as possible because he knows he's taking this shot over the top these guys, knowing that they have a one-high look, they're trying to funnel. He's staying underneath to the outside, pushing him to that safety. And right here, Penix strides through this thing. This is an absolute bomb. You can't tell me that you can put this ball out there any better right there to Polk. Again, one of the best receivers in the country. And they got some guys out there that can really go for Washington. Runs it down, makes a play. Tight window, there's a safety trying to roll to the top. And again, unbelievable throw right in stride. Corner still can't touch him. Makes the safety miss. Gets all the way down to about three or four yard line. This is a great spot to see it right here again. You can see he's sitting inside outside leverage because he wants to push this guy to the safety. Get back vertical go post. And once he sticks it to the post, he tries to undercut it right there. Thinking he's going to be right there because he knows he has safety help over the top. And then he sticks his foot in the ground goes back over the top. And have to have great protection. And you also have to have an absolute cannon. And just great accuracy that far down the field about 30, 40 yards. Great throwing kit. This game came down to, obviously, red zone goal line, having to score touchdowns. Washington got held to a couple field goals late in the game as well that ended up being the difference in the game just there. We'll move the ball that much better than Texas more consistently. But right here, just run inside zone. You're looking at they even leave this defensive end right here. There's Basin. Basin going to double that to there. He's going there. He's working that up to that linebacker, reading that with the quarterback. So kind of interesting right here that they're leaving the C-gap player right there. But anyway, they still hit that thing really tight. Right there off that double team. Good job getting a shoulder to that, getting movement. Probably wouldn't want to bury my head right here like he does and ends up leaving this backer to fill in. He's squeezing, but he's obviously late. Playing with momentum. Great job here by the back. Finding a way to fall forward. Playing with that downhill momentum. Scraping tight, getting hip to hip on those down blocks. Falls in the end zone. Huge touchdown right there. First one of the night for Washington. Right on this look, they end up motioning out to an empty set. Running basically to the middle of the field. Vertical hitch right here. He's sitting there in the flat. So really... Quarterbacks want to work that middle of the field. And on this one, okay, this guy runs an out. Basically, there to the middle of the field. The vertical sit right there. He's out there in the flats. And as you're looking at it, this linebacker sitting there right in the middle of the field looking at the quarterback's eyes. Even gets a rush right here. A D tackle that's got a double team. Gets right into Penix's face. Great job avoiding. Avoiding like that and then be able to get your shoulders back around. Whip it through that window. And again, you can see this dig working that middle window. we got outside left here. He's pushing that safety. That safety's too deep to make a play, though. Puts his foot in the ground. As you can see, there's a window here. Penix has got to find a way right here to buy enough time and then get the ball out, which he does right here, and still throws an amazingly accurate ball. Puts it right on his face mask. Great play by Penix to buy enough time. Easy throwing catch right there against the zone once he gets his feet set, especially for Penix, and then probably the best receiver in the country right there with the Dunze. Red zone goal line is obviously huge in this game, and on this one, you've seen you got tight end. you got a running back here at fullback. You're motioning right here. Trying to get those guys' eyes to it. Reverse out. And basically all it is is inside zone there to the left. Handing it to seven. As he gets downhill. Basically he starts at the same spot he would if he's in the shotgun. Just now he's acting like he's in three-point stance. Again, handing it right there. This motion right here holds his DN and this linebacker corner right here. And hits the exact same spot that they did in the last one. Just right here getting to it from a different look. Still had that tied into the backside. Puts his foot in the ground. Scraping tight off those down blocks. Walks in the end zone right there, no contact. For a big touchdown there for Washington. This is a great look of an absolute bomb. Back going right here, getting a pulling guard to that fullback. So again, six-man pro. Get him to the flats. You're going dig, post there over the top. Out here, probably some sort of a comeback or an out. And you're looking at just a fake. Half roll right here into the pro. Once he gets his feet set, steps up through. you got a pretty decent pocket here to stride through. And has absolutely ripped this thing. This is a long throw from the 15-yard line. All the way down to the opposite, say, 30-yard line right here. Pretty decent coverage, just right in the bucket. Safety has stayed down on that dig. But right there, if you're looking at the distance in the air, that's 55 yards. Right in the bucket. Great play there by the receiver as well. And right here, you can see just how tight this window was. DB's trying to split the hands right here. 
just gets in there. Great strong hands, great finish there. Another explosive play in the passing game, which was the case all night for Washington's receivers. And Penix obviously putting absolute bombs on these guys right in the pocket. Can't be any better right there for that throw. This is a call right here that I thought was really odd. And they got Penix standing out here. They got the Wildcat. I know they've done it throughout the year. But whenever you have your best dude out here and they know it's a run, this is the number two defense as far as third down conversion. One of the best defenses as far as stopping the run. Whenever they know it's a run and they can fill the box and hold their gaps, they're pretty good. If you got an option to possibly throw the ball out there, which Washington has been aggressive with their fourth downs and really done some interesting stuff, but put it in that guy's hands, or at least give it an opportunity to be in that guy's hands. But right here, just running power. There's the kick. There's the lead. And Texas, just too strong there up front. No chance right there. Gets absolutely stoned. Huge bodies in there. Big stop there for Texas. But I like the aggressive play call. As far as going for it, really don't like the call as far as getting into Wildcat running power. Here's a look here of an empty set. Getting a bit of a hitch here. You got a vertical to the outside. Going to the middle of the field here by number three. Inside receiver right there on the seam. Got a hitch outside. And Penix obviously getting a four-man rush. You got to win your one-on-ones on the outside. They even have a defensive end free. So obviously this is not ideal. His eyes start down here to the bottom. If he's feeling this hot, he should slide up and get this ball out right there to the hitch to the back that had motioned out. But right here, steps up, strong through contact, runs through an arm tackle. He sees this safety cutting right there. There's your guy. And that's where he absolutely drills this ball. Corner obviously going to try to midpoint any of these verticals, which is what he tries to do right here. He should be on the flat right there. I think this ball gets pushed down the field just a little bit deep. If you're ripping it right now, you should put it on his body, slow him down, not throw him into that corner that's playing over the top. If you don't like it, you see that corner getting over the top, and just, we can flip it out there to the fullback sitting there in the flats, give him a chance to make the outside linebacker miss. But he rips this thing because that safety played over. Corner comes over, tips it up. Great job staying with it. Big touchdown right here. So you can see what they're looking for. Uh, they're looking for those four verticals. Basically, in that one high safety rolling right there, throw that seam. I think they pushed it a little bit deep. Obviously had the chance to check it down outside if you didn't like it. Right here, arm strength just barely beats the corner, even though it gets tipped up. The great play. Big touchdown there for Washington, trying to get that momentum back. Washington had done this just a whole lot, and of course Penix is too valuable of an asset right here. You don't want to run him just a ton. Going power read. Here's your guy right there, going to base. Dublin right there, blocking back, back, gap hinge. He's pulling for the only backer left in the box. He's leading outside in case somebody squeezes. So kind of a different look. Here from Texas' defense with a 5-1 box. Right there, faking across. He knows he's wide. I'm going to pull it. I'm going to get downhill behind my puller. That's what happens right there. Just that misdirection because they definitely weren't ready for Penix to pull the ball right here and run it. Tons of space. Safety flying over the top right here. Not great angles to fill into the box. Gets vertical. Get a first down. Get down, which is a great job right there. Changing it up, making them slow down a little bit. Didn't have just a ton of success per carry as far as running the football, but... Changing up with Penix running it was huge for him. Got him a couple of key first downs. He ended up having 30-something yards rushing on those plays. So I, I thought this was a great call. Great job getting Penix involved in the run. This is a great look of four verticals with this bunch in the boundary. Running vertical switches, basically. So you got verticals there. Fullback, he goes around. He's the outside vertical. And you got a vertical there to the outside to the single. Penix now, all he's really looking for is make sure that it's two-on-one out here. If he doesn't have that safety to help over there, he's just going to throw this ball to the outside on a jump ball. Then you're looking one, two, working across. Three on the seam, then you can go four outside, and you got a check down right here to seven who's getting out. You can even uh, guard to pull right here, check these linebackers to step in so you can open that up. And right here, this safety stays wide. This linebacker rotates a little bit too hard there to the bunch, and he rips it right through that window. This is a tight window. You have a guy just outside the hash on both hashes, so he has to rip this. This is about a 25-plus yard throw, but he rips it and puts it on before those safeties can converge. This is an unreal throw. Straight laser beam right here. Rips it. Right on his face mask. Now, if you wouldn't have liked it, maybe this linebacker had sat right here underneath that. If he was trying to get it to him, he had to push him across the field a little bit further. Here are your seams right here. Great job here by the receiver slowing down in that window. You could drill it right through that window on his body to keep away from that safety. But right there, linebacker's over-rotated. Tons of space there in the middle of the field. Great strong throw there by Penix. Right here, motion the fullback out. Faking the screen here to the number two receiver. Getting a post. He's faking blocking. He's going outside the numbers here. And on this one... Just shows the arm strength. Pumping that hard, trying to get this guy to step down. Going post, take the, hopefully taking that corner of the top. Resets his feet and launches it from the far hash in the hole shot at about 15 yards deep. Anybody that's played quarterback knows you got to really be feeling it and be strong to rip this ball out there to beat that corner coming down, that outside backer trying to get to it from underneath. Unbelievable throw and catch. Tight window. His decent coverage just right there, just over the outstretched hand. 
Big play, throwing to the fullback right there on that fake screen. Here's another look of power read. This time out of 2x2, two two, running it with the back instead of with the motion. And here's your read. The buddy is down blocking, blocking back. You got your puller for the only backer left in the box. And even this D-tackle, who should be a big gap player, jumps outside. So they have two for the outside gap. Running back flashing across. Again, not aware, not ready for Penix to run the football. Pulls it, gets vertical. You even got a puller right there all the way up to the safety. And this is on a second and ten. Puts his hand on his back, trying to guide him into that safety. So good play. Probably want to get down a little bit sooner. Don't want to let Penix get hit. Too valuable right there, man. Get down. Save yourself that hit. But again, power read. Got two guys in the outside gap because they're not ready for that quarterback pull. Big run. Explosive play there on the run game for Washington, which was almost all that they had as far as creating explosive run plays were from Penix. One high look here from Texas. 4-2 box on a second and three. And they're running basically a fade out here to the bottom. And quarterback's going to look, do we win on the outside? You got your best player here on the outside as far as receivers. And we feel like we win. And right here, not only does he win, but he wins over the top. So this is a different ball than you've seen a lot of times. Whenever you stop it right here, he's on his back hip. Put this thing up and over to the outside. Let your guy run it down. He's won vertically. That's the space that you're trying to work. Pretty good job here by Adunze with late hands. So this DB can't just split his hands. Late hands, catches it right there. Can't put this ball any better. This is a about 20 to 25 yard throw so that one high safety can't get over there. Pretty good pace on the ball. Great spot. Makes the play. Gets out of bounds. Big play for Washington. And right here on this one, you can see the late hands. He's running. Being pretty casual about it. Late hands. DB never sees the ball. Wasn't even sure if it's in the air. Makes the play. Secures it. Gets out of bounds right there. Big play. Onside kick right here. want to point out a few things that are a little bit different than what people have been doing in the past. Where you've got nine guys right here on the front line. Two guys. Your best dudes right there on that outside for any jump balls. And right here on this one. you got five and five. They fake with one kicker. And they kick with the other one. Right there. So there's your fake. So that you keep these guys spread to both sides of the field evenly. And then here's the helicopter kick. It's spinning that direction. So when it spins that direction, it's going to work back towards the line. So they're going to make it look like it's not going to go to the line. Then it's spinning that way so it's working towards the line so these guys can get there. And right here on this one, great job by Washington being aggressive, knowing, hey, this thing's going to spin to the line. If I got a chance at it right here, I'm going to make the play. Good job right there being aggressive, getting to it, not letting these guys smoke them and knock them off the ball. Make a play if you have a chance. Great confidence right there. Here's the last play of the game. And motion around right here up by six for Washington. So right here if they score, good to have your good chance to win the football game. So, And on this one with that motion and all that, they're running verticals with the switch here to the outside. You're getting the running back down the seam. He's going right here. He's going outside. They're trying to hit that down the seam. What they see is they see that safety roll that way, and they know, hey, I'm one-on-one -on -one here to the short side of the field here for Texas. So yours, as soon as he sees that safety hang over there to that three-receiver side in the back side, he's looking right here to the one-on-one. -on -one. Feels good about it, but this is the wrong throw. And if you're looking at it, Washington is dropping way too deep with no help there to that single receiver. Probably want to have somebody underneath right here. If yours throws this to the front pylon, you see how deep that guy is. If he throws it here to the front pylon on a rope, He's got a chance right there to make a play, uh, but right there, high ball. This is the wrong throw as far as just a jump ball fade. Should put on that front pylon, probably about right there, and let him adjust back to it. Have a really good chance to make a play one-on-one. -on -one. DB climbs the ladder, maybe uses the offense to get a little bit more height. Right there, swats it away. Great play there by 25. Would definitely feel a little bit better if there wasn't just a one-on-one, -on -one, but making a play... Great job by Washington finding a way. Now, it was a really good football game between two really good teams, really good offenses. Texas' defense made some stops in the red zone and forced Washington to kick field goals. Texas' offense was not very efficient. They were in a lot of third and longs, and Washington was able to get off the field. Now, of course, Washington's defense had a lot to do with that because those dudes were playing hard, getting the hands up, knocking balls down, keeping them from being able to complete a lot of those RPOs that they had been completing all season. With that being said, Washington is going to have to be a lot better defensively, especially against the run this next week against Michigan if they hope to win the national championship. But with Penix out there, you've always got a chance. That dude makes every throw in the book. He might be the best quarterback in the nation. I'm not sure if he's going to be the guy that's drafted there just because of injury history. But as far as play, consistency all year, he's been the best quarterback as far as throwing the football in the nation all year. And it's been very evident in this game and in the Pac-12 championship game that he can make every throw. 